As a kid with short, curly, somewhat awkward hair, I always imagined myself having long, flowing locks that I could toss around like this. What I got in reality was this. Now, I actually have the long hair of my dreams, but I'm about to turn 50. Do I have to cut it off? Hi, I'm Cheryl Kramer Kay, and I am here with Nunzio Saviano. He is the owner of the Nunzio Saviano Salon on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, Yo Madison Avenue. Let me introduce you to Nunzio. Hello, everyone. Woo! I like to call him the nuns, like the Fonz, because he is that cool. And today, we are here asking him a really crucial question. Long hair after 45, can I get away with that? Many women with even their 50s and their 60s with long, longer hair yeah. can look very sexy, can look beautiful, sophisticated. So there is absolutely no reason why to cut your hair short if you, yeah, if you want, want it. Right. Unless you want it. You know, as we get older, we do tend to uh, lose some hair, right? Whether it's hormonal or stress or whatever it may be that is causing some hair loss, you want to embrace that. And so if you're used to wearing your hair way past your shoulders, maybe you want to consider to cut it a little bit shorter. Sometimes even a couple inches makes a big difference. Now, is that going to make it look fuller? Is that why so exactly. many women end up cutting their hair? Exactly. You want to have some body into your hair. So What's that going to do for us? All that body. Well, body and some framing around the face. It just gives a nice lift. A lift. Yeah. There are some of us who just I'm not. I don't want to give up my long hair. I love my long hair. It makes me feel young. But I do worry that I'm going to turn around and people are going to be like, Oh my God, she's way older than her hair. Well. You know, keep in mind the difference between long and longer. Yeah. All right, so tell so, me what you define as long and longer. So Show me. I, I say probably about maybe, what is that, 10 inches, 12 inches? Past 12 your inches past your shoulder. That's a lot of inches. Yeah. I would say you should go nipple length, but the further south my nipples go, the longer my hair would have to get. And there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nuns, get your scissors. Let's get yes. going. Give me a head with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, steaming, flax and waxen. Give me it down to there, hair, shoulder length or longer. Here, baby, there, mama, everywhere, daddy, daddy, hey. Longer hair rather than right. long and hair. And isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. So I look hot. You can see that there is a lot more body to my hair now that it is shorter but still longish. Right. And there are some pieces that frame my face. This is all about giving me that that lift you were talking about. So if hair is too long and too flat, exactly. it drags your features down. This length, a little shorter around the face with some length. And it's playful. Boom. You can use a curling iron, have a little bit of beach wave to it, or just a simple glow. Feels very flirty, very fabulous, very the nuns. Give me two kisses. Ciao, ciao. I'm sure. La 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 la. You're so great. Is it good? Yeah, you smell uh, like fresh flowers. Yeah, you need to. And we look fabulous. That was amazing. That was good. Perfect. So. <laughs> you gonna put that on? Yeah, you know that whole thing is going in. <laughs> All of this is staying in. No cutting. 